We are back in Way of the Hunter on Nez Perce Valley. I am OCG. Today we're doing a realistic hunt for some Rocky Mountain Elk. I hope you guys enjoy. Oh man, took a little nap by the fire. Woke up too late. It's nine o'clock. We're out here by White Pine Orchard. Uh, I did just hear though a couple of elk calls. Pretty close actually. I do believe it is a drink time. So there's a possibility they're right here at this lake. So let's go uh, take a quick little peek here. It does sound like they are. Hopefully we have some big boys. I'm actually surprised they're here because right by the camp. That hardly ever happens. Ooh, what are you? You're definitely old. I can tell you that. You look like a... Uh, 7x6? Seven yeah, not quite a 7x7. Seven seven. He, he's a 6x6 six six as well, so he's got potential. This guy, on the other hand, does not. He is done for. So, that being said, if he gives me a shot, we will take him out. I could probably take a shot here and get a heart, but... It's a little risky. There's a couple of lopsided guys in here too, I think. Uh, maybe not. They might all be symmetrical. If that's the case, this guy definitely needs to go because he's the only lopsided one. He's a little lopsided, but not by much. I think they just need to grow a little bit more. There's a good chance that this guy just needs to grow a little bit more and get one more tine. But I doubt it. I don't think that happens. It could. I just don't think it does. I think once they are mature like this, they're done. They're not going to grow any more tines. It's like this guy right here. He's probably a young adult. I've got a feeling he is going to be a five star. This guy's just not there. Oh, here we go. He's dead. Got him, boys! Shouldn't make it too far. I'm pretty sure that's at least a double long. Definitely not a heart shot. He'd be down already. Didn't make it far, though. Gotta wait for him to expire and we'll go pick him up. I'm going to say this guy's a three. I don't think he made it to a four. Could, though. He could make it to a four. Well, depending on his genetics. If he's a high fitness, he's possibly a four, but I just don't see it. I think he's a three. Yeah, he's too lopsided. He's definitely a three. 61% mature, he's good to take out. Definitely old. Wow. <laughs> he is all kinds of wonky. Man. Crazy. Anyway, obviously, just to sell. Well, hello there. How are you? Don't worry about it. You a loner? I don't see your partner. I mean, I, hmm, I could. I kind of want to know if you're a male or a female. Start walking. I think he just sees me, because my wind's good. That's a male. Knees don't clack. You guys want to bet? He's dead. Pretty sure that was a hard shot, actually. Mm, maybe not. Maybe just a double long. Nope, that was a heart. I need to stop second guessing myself. <laughs> I knew that all the time. Alright. Not what we were after today, obviously. But I was heading down to this lake over here. 
We're still in White Pine Orchard, by the way. Heading over down to this lake just to see if these guys were there. Happened to see this guy walking by as I was walking down. I was like, yeah, might as well take him out. Or at least look at him. He looks pretty old. Okay, so we definitely got a heart shot there. He is a male. I'm telling you, man. This is how you tell. The knees don't clack on males. Obviously, though, 30% butcher. One star. <laughs> Just a sell. Not looking too good from here, at least. Uh, I did check while I was up there. And there was nothing on that side, over there, or on this side. So, this side is where I'm concerned. If they're going to be here or not. And... So far, it does not look like that is going to be the case. Where they're at then, I have no idea because I don't have their second zone. So they could be here, 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 even there. <laughs> they could even be up there for all I know. But the crazy part is I'm pretty sure I've been to all those lakes. So I don't know how I missed them. But they are here. Okay. Well, let's move in nice and slow here. I want to stay on this side because I don't want to go too far that way, obviously, because my wind is going that way. So, I'm going to stay up here in these trees. I'm going to try to get a little higher here and see if I can see these guys. I can put down a stand if I really need to, which I might. That guy's pretty good looking. Can't tell if he's a five. I need to count his tines. I'm just get a little closer here and we'll figure out if we want to take anybody or not. Alright, are you the big boy I was looking at? I think you are. Yeah, he's definitely got potential. I need to count his time zone. I can't really see them all. Let's move a little closer here. Try to get into a better position where I can see everything. Alright, looks like one, two, three... Four, five, six, so he's not a five. Seven by seven is a five, by the way. Or is it an eight by eight? I think it's an eight by eight. I think it's seven by seven is a four. Yeah, he's a six by six, so... He will be good to take, because he's mature, and he's already pretty much at his max, so I'm going to go ahead and take the shot here. I think he's dead. Couldn't quite tell on that blood shot there. I'm going to get a little closer here, see if I can spot him as he's... He's right there, actually. Are you going to die? Did I miss? Hmm. Possibly we missed. Because he does not look like he's hurt. Yeah. Must have got a flesh wound. Might not have penetrated that shoulder there. That is one problem with taking a shoulder shot. Is, uh, you might not penetrate all the way through. Yeah, it's definitely a flesh wound, though, so he's definitely going to be alive. Now, I could track him down and try to take him out. But I think I'm just going to let him live and see if he gets any bigger. I doubt he will, because he's mature, and I don't think he's got much left in him to grow. But we're going to move on from there and work our way down these herds. Oh, that's a big boy elk right there. Okay, I also see some white tail in the background. I don't know why I thought that was a moose. Just looked really big, like a moose. But there's some white, white tail back there, and I'm pretty sure that was the herd we had that albino at one point. It's been a really long time since that we saw that albino, so I doubt that albino is still there. Yeah, that's a, that's a big boy elk right there. Without a doubt. Now, wind is okay, so I think I'm going to work my way up a little closer. Hi, how you doing? This guy just does not care. Doesn't care. If we have two five stars here, like a five star elk and a five star white tail, it's going to be a tough choice, but I'm pretty sure I'll have to pick the elk since we're hunting elk today. And I think that guy that was over there is definitely a five star. I need to count his tines, so we got to get a little bit closer so I can get eyes on. If they don't come out of those woods, I'm going to have to give a call. And he's right there. But I just can't see enough to count the tines. Oh, boy. 
I really like to see the whitetail as well, but it's just not working. I don't think that's a warning call. They don't seem to be looking back or on edge. You're about 200 yards out, give or take. I think I'll place down a stand somewhere around here. Maybe I can see over everything and get eyes on this guy. I doubt it, though. I got a feeling we have to give a call. Just move up nice and slow. I don't want to spook them. I do hope I can get eyes on these whitetail, though. I really want to see what they are. I don't think they're anything crazy because we're not in the the uh, their primary zone. But there is a chance you can get five stars in the primary zone. I mean, the uh, secondary zone, but very, 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 very unlikely. Of course, I put it right down in front of a tree, but hoping I can get eyes on both of these guys at the same time. That was the plan. I can't see any of the white tail, really. I mean, I see the couple of them, but nothing crazy. Uh, he's back in there somewhere. I don't see him right now. Let's take, actually I want to swap to this because I'm not going to take the white tail. I just want to get eyes on them. See what we have. Ooh, he's pretty good. He's probably a solid three. I think he was the one I saw when they were walking down. So, nothing crazy there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give a call here. I don't. I can't get these guys out of these woods, or they're not. Go Ooh. that's a five, boys. Are you kidding me? Is he? I can't tell. I need to count the tines too. Oh man. Okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. First, I need to see this guy. If I can count his tines, and he is a five star, he's got 14 points, he's a five star. And if he is, and this elk is not, obviously I have to take the five star. So, I need to count them real quick if he gives me a chance. Yeah, come down this way, buddy. Not behind the tree, but, you know, <laughs> come down this way. I don't need to wait too long. Cause it's already 11 and they'll start leaving probably around either 11 30 or 12 is my guess in terms of going to their rest zone the elk that is i don't know about whitetail oh i love it i love elk oh man he's big he is big he's not a five he's big but he's not a five i think he's a 10 10 pointer Possibly an eight. Okay, let's give a call here for some help. Hopefully I have the caller with me. Yes, I do. High fitness. They should be within range. We'll see if we get a response. If not, we're going to have to wait for this guy to step out. And it's not going to be... Not going to be good because they're, they're really back in there. I'm not sure I'll be able to find them. Unless I can call them out of here. Are you coming my way? It's really hard to tell. You are. Okay. That might be him. He didn't give a response, but he's definitely heading this way. Let's we'll sit here for a little bit. Keep giving a call. By the way, I wanted to say thank you guys for the birthday wishes. If you caught my last episode. Which would be my uh, SPT video. If you've watched that and you also watched my hunting videos, then I really appreciate that. I hope you guys are enjoying... But yes, my birthday was last week. I am now 33 years old. I am old. Now, I don't feel 33. I feel like I'm still like 18, 19 years old. So I feel like I haven't really aged any. Key to not aging, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously that's not health advice. I'm just saying. 
That's all I drink. I don't drink water. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's seven by seven, boys. That's right. There is a five. I think. I can't remember. Is it an eight by eight? That's a five. Or a seven by seven? That's a five. If it's a seven by seven, then he's definitely a five. But if he's not, then he's definitely a four. I can't quite remember. It's been a while since we've taken a five star elk. I want to say it's an eight by eight. That's no, gotta be. A red deer is a 10 by 10. Which is crazy. <laughs> 10 times on one side. Now, that is a 5 star, at least on Transylvania. On Matariki Park, I don't know, because there's so many tines, it's ridiculous. Of course, he's gonna come in right behind this tree. Putting it here is going to bite me in the butt, isn't it? I'm going to walk right behind this tree the entire time. I'm going to get right here, and then spook. I see you over there, buddy. I just need you to give me a good shot here without getting way in this tree. Clear as day. Not clear as day. <laughs> of course. Of course. Technically, he is walking right behind the tree. Because I can't see him when I zoom in. I guess because I'm right-handed, so I'm zooming in from the right side. So I see more of the tree. Can I just swap to left hand real quick to take the shot? <laughs> like an SPT. Speaking of that, there will be an episode tomorrow, and I have recorded three episodes today. So there's two SBT and then this one today. So I've been busy. It's a busy, busy day. And then yesterday I went out with my... Well, I didn't go out. I went to my, my sister's house, and we had... We cooked out some hot dogs and stuff for uh, Father's Day for my stepdad. And then tomorrow which will be Monday, I go to... I go out to eat with my dad and my sister for Father's Day for my dad. Hopefully everybody else had a fantastic Father's Day, which is today, Sunday. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. I know Father's Day is really not celebrated like it is Mother's Day, but I hope all those fathers out there have a absolutely fantastic Father's Day. Well-deserved. I'm telling you, he's going to walk right behind this tree the entire time. And I'm going to tell you, he's going to get right there and spook. I just can't. I can't. This is my luck, guys. This is my luck, alright? Calling in another one somewhere? Sure sounded like I did, didn't it? Well, there's that one, obviously. <laughs> no, he's over there somewhere. Don't care too much about that guy. I'm afraid to shoot through these this limb. I'm afraid it's gonna block my shot and I'm gonna miss. I need him to be, like, right here. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is my luck, alright? Ah! <sighs> okay. <laughs> I was afraid to take that shot, because it's, like, right at the edge of that tree. And I was like, please have the hitboxes correct. <laughs> But he is down. Let's go, boys. Now, the question is... 
is he a five? I can't remember if a seven by seven is a five or an eight by eight is a five. I feel like it's an eight by eight, but I could be wrong. We're about to find out though. Obviously that was a good shot right in the heart. He's a four, 78% mature. So it must've been an eight by eight. Or he just was not quite big enough to make it. So I, I can't remember. You guys are going to have to let me know down in the comments below if it's an 8x8 or it's a 7x7. I've said this before in my previous videos, but it's been so long since we've had a 5-star elk and that I've really actually counted. So I don't remember. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He has a 7x7 for sure. Obviously, though, just to sell. And before I move on to the next one, which is still going to be down here in Thorn Springs. It's going to be right there. I'm going to see if I can find that zone because I don't have it yet. Surprisingly, I didn't have that one either. How I don't have these zones, I have no idea. I must have gotten into a hunt and just flat out forgot. That's my guess, because, you know, ADHD. Found it. I just had a crazy idea. You know what would be cool? I've seen these videos, like, these, uh, these guys that track. This is real life hunting, by the way, I'm talking about. These guys track animals, uh, deer and stuff, before they, uh, Take the shot, they just track the, the tracks. Now, I'm not talking about adding tracks to the game. I, I've already talked about that before, which would be fantastic. But my idea is they carry around a GoPro or whatever they use on a backpack. And it's just over the shoulder kind of thing. What if you had the ability to do that in this game? So you'd see me, the character, which would play into the, the effect that they have added uh, skins. So... You would actually see your skins, uh, and then and then you'd be able to see everything around, obviously. But then I have my view, which is still my first-person view. So you can record, like, a third-person view, which would be behind the shoulder. But you guys, that's what you guys see, and then this is what I see, the first person. I don't know, I think that'd be kind of cool. Maybe, I don't know if you can mod this game. I'm sure you can. Um, but it'd be kind of cool to do. If anybody wants to make a mod like that, that'd be awesome. Now, obviously, if I ever mod this game, it will be, like, the whole separate ordeal. Whole separate account. I'm never gonna touch this account with a mod. Other than, uh, this. Which I can't remember the name of now, because it's been so long since I've used it. It just stays there and is on all the time. But it's just a graphics thing. What is it called? Yeah, somebody let me know. I forget. Anyway, hopefully, we have some elk down here. Which if we do, they're going to be somewhere over there. So I probably need to move a little bit slowly here. I don't need to move like crazy slow yet. They might be heading off to a rest zone soon. It's almost 12. And they rest at 1. Depending how far away their rest zone is, they probably might have already left by now. So, there's a possibility there's nothing down here. I'd like to hear some kind of call, though. Hmm. Twig snaps. Good possibility it is... Uh, elk. Also a good possibility that it is completely something else. I'm probably gonna fall here, aren't I? Oh yeah, without a doubt, that's too steep. I'm gonna fall, and I am going to either die, or spook something. Okay, we didn't die. Surprisingly, we didn't spook something either. Don't see anything yet. I'm not even quite sure where I heard those twig snaps. I felt like it was up that way. Hmm. Do we assume that it's elk? And give a call. Might not be in range.
Or do I assume that it's elk and they're moving off to a rest zone somewhere? Obviously not that one, because it'd be walking right behind me. I'm going to go up here and check. If I don't see anything or hear anything up here, then we're just going to move on to a different zone. There's third elk somewhere. This way. Somewhere. Okay, this way. Somewhere. <laughs> well, we definitely have elk. Does seem like they're heading off to a rest zone then. Now, I wonder if it's this path that I just saw a second ago. I've lost it already, but... Or is this it? I don't think that's it. I mean, it could be... I'm not going to try to follow it, though, because... Man, does it get crazy trying to find these things without Hunter Sense. You can do it. I've done it. I don't like doing it. Not the, not the most fun thing. They're not too far off. I'd say probably when 250, maybe 300. How's my wind? That's the question. Oh man, it's blown that way. That looks so cool. With the misty rain. Yeah, that's awesome. Do we assume they're in range? Let's do it. Let's assume they're in range. Obviously, there's no guarantee we'll get a response. Even if one is heading my way. We got that last hunt. We saw him heading my way, but he didn't give a... Give a call until he was closer. Couldn't... Man, they're definitely over there. They actually might have one hooked here. Yep, we got one hooked here. Okay. It's placed on a stand. The reason I'm placing down a stand is because this bush right here in front of me. I can't really see. Well, yeah, we got a couple of them, I think. Okay, so I know there's a zone over there then. So we're going to head there next after we take one of these guys, if we take one. We know they're high fitness. Well, I say we know, but we don't really know yet because they haven't actually come in yet. I don't remember the last five star we took, but did we ever put it in the lodge? I don't remember. If I didn't, let me know, because we'll go put him back in there. Whatever it was. So we're supposed to do that every time we get a five star. It's just sometimes I just forget. So if you ever see me doing that, remind me, because we'll do it the next episode. I might, I might get off the stand and move forward. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna get off and we're gonna move, move up a little bit. Give me that, thank you. There's a bear path right there. By the way, if you ever want to find zones, follow these. You'll find zones quick. And it'll take to every single one of them. Now, when they get into the zone, it's a little hard to figure out where they exit. That's the hard part. It's a lot easier when you have um, Hunter Sense, though. Obviously, I don't have Hunter Sense. If I'm not calling in anything and they were that close... Then maybe we don't have a high fitness. And if we don't have a high fitness... Well, I say that. There's a chance we have a high fitness and he's just flat out ignoring me. But if we don't have a high fitness, then I need to see what we have, because... There's a chance we need to clean up this herd. That's a good possibility. Yeah, I, 
Uh, they're not here. They're not here anymore. And uh, they're further that way now. Okay, so... Looks like a rest zone is probably somewhere up here. Because it's almost one. So I'm going to head up to that tree line there. And I think we might be able to get eyes on them.
Man. After all that, and I still don't see anything. Okay, there they are. Okay, so... They are still out of range. So that's why we're not calling anything in. Sounds like we got mule deer and white tail somewhere down that way. I did that little bit there just to see if you guys enjoy that stuff. If you do, make sure you smash that like button. And leave a comment too because let's know what you guys like. I'm going to try to sneak up closer to these guys. I need to get within range. Clearly we're not in range, so this collar can expire. Doesn't really matter too much. I did see a feed zone somewhere around here. So I want to grab that in case it's part of the elk herd. Are you just a loner? Am I working my way all the way over here for nothing? Are you... You gotta be kidding me. This guy's a loner. For real? For real right now? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I did all that for a loner. And not even a big one. Unbelievable. But, you know, that's how hunting goes. All I know is I heard a call. Big snaps. Worked my way in and found this guy. Night, night. Let me grab this at least. Yo, dear. And then I gotta find the elk zone, because there's gotta be one over there. Now, is your zone nearby? I know you ran down this way somewhere. Apparently, you ran through a tree. Wait, ran upward? Oh, there's their zone right here, too. Bam. Thought he ran downhill. <laughs> whatever. As long as I find him. I really didn't think he'd go this far. It's right there in front of me, though. Obviously not a five. Obviously nothing crazy. I'm going to say you're probably a two-star. Shoot, you might even be a one. Nah, I'm gonna see you're a two. Yep, you're one. 90. <laughs> Some moment of silence there. You know. R.I.P. in the comments. I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He was a loner. A loner. 99% young. Are you kidding me? He could have been a five. Easily. Easily a five. Not even could have been. He was easily a five. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay. That sucks. You know what I should have done? I should have just started calling. And see if he would have answered to a high fitness. Because at that point, we already know he was young. And if he has high fitness, then obviously we could have left, left him alone. I, I should have done that. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, he's symmetrical easily. Easily would have been a five star. <sighs> just a sell. Man. Yep, I'm going to go cry now, so that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, check out these videos right here. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please head down and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. I like to hear from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. And as always, have a fantastic day. OCG out.